Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day three of Vlogmas. Um, just waking up. Uh, slept in a little bit later. It is Saturday. Um, one of the perks of a Saturday. Um, I stayed up a little bit too late last night and then had a hard time sleeping because we had some pretty bad storms through the night. So I have some coffee trying to wake up here. We have a busy weekend up ahead of us. Um, Kind of talked about it a little bit yesterday. Um, let's see, I finished my clue uh, for uh, the MCAL uh, calendar stole. Finished clue one, which is called Orchids last night. I'll pop in a picture here because uh, I have it pinned out because it's hard to see when it's all squished in. Um, so I'll pop in a picture um, and then I'll, I'll go through more of that later on this morning. But Clue 2 should have, have been released um, this morning. Um, I haven't opened uh, my computer or, or term I haven't turned on my computer yet. Uh, and uh, I mean, I haven't done anything but uh, um, get some coffee, put on my robe, say good morning to Brian, and sit down. So um, I haven't uh, gotten much done. <laughs> But that, um, let's see, I've got to, um, today's uh, goals are to work on the next clue for the MCAL. I try to get at least half of that done instead of saving it all for day two. Because um, I have two days to do a clue. You get a clue on December 1st, December 3rd, December 5th. So there's 12 clues to the stole. Um, and at the end, she gives you like the last two clues together so you can finish it up and maybe wear it on Christmas Day. Um, so, uh, but I'm having a hard time this year keeping up with the filming and all this stuff. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm not sure. Um, again, we were going to try to do the outside Christmas lights today. I'll try to take you guys a little along for a little bit of that. I don't want to bore you to tears. Um, it's just putting some lights out on, out on bushes and, uh, um, and then I've got to finish up, um, our trees that we put outside on the porch and, uh, here inside the house. And, um, what else are we going to do today? Um, oh, we have the giveaway today, um, where I pick the winners for, uh, giveaway, Advent giveaway number one. And uh, then I have the four patterns that I'm giving away um, where, where you had to put the word Advent. I have uh, uh, that to pick as well, the four winners uh, for a pattern of their choice. So I'll be doing that later on today. Um, and, uh, you know, then mailing any packages out. Well, I don't have to, I can't mail them until Monday. So I have a couple of days to get those packages ready. Uh, to put in the mail on Monday. Um, and of course, cleaning as I can, maybe some laundry today. Um, I just need to check it and see where we are. Um, I'd love to go try to get some more decorations um, sometime. I'm not sure if that's going to be this weekend or maybe next weekend um, because. Um, uh, we have so much to do here at the house this weekend. Uh, so um, we'll just have to see. I've got uh, today on my today on the vlog stuff. I'll kind of do the similar type of a format, you know, the yarn advents and uh, stitch marker stuff. And then I'm going to show you my knitting that I've done so far. Um, I've told you my plans. I'm going to try to cast on the adventurer scarf and wrap uh, by Ambo O'Brien with the Miss Babs advent. Um, I need to wind the second skein of yarn. Y'all, you guys saw me wind the first little mini skein. Um, and I want to try to get started on uh, the blanket, the anthology blanket by Helen Stewart. 
with another one of the advent sets so um, those are my project plans um, I don't know that I'll get them cast on this weekend we'll just have to see I've got I've got the MCAL that's uh, I need to finish that up before I can start any new projects um, and then of course I always would have whips going on um, let's see I think that's it for the goals I've got to spend some time in my Bible this morning and then I uh, get busy on things I do have another uh, finishing up my um, day with you guys with another one of the um, names of Jesus and then um, we'll call it a day so good morning everyone welcome to day three I hope you're all doing well it's the start of the weekend I hope you all have wonderful plans for the weekend or if you're just going to be staying at home maybe hanging out with your family or friends or if you're by yourself and hanging out with your knitting um, maybe putting up some decorations that's great. I just hope that you're having a beautiful start to your weekend. Let's get this day going.
a cold night, baby, and I'm on my way to you. And the snow keeps falling down. Lit a fire and look down on the avenue. I just love the way you carry the crown. It's just me and you tonight, and I'm all yours. We'll be in our happy place. This December will be the best, I'm pretty sure. And I am truly yours in every way. So hold me now, it's Christmas time. Bring joy to people in this town. In this way, we make the world go round. In December, I just let the peace take over. That is what I want. Just a few blocks from you now, I wanna drive. And the snow keeps falling now. Let this Christmas be the best we've ever had. Under a starlit sky, we'll walk around. Okay, one of the things I need to share with you guys, I hope you don't mind me doing this. I have a lot of happy mail that I received while I was sick that I have not shared and I just got something yesterday. So I'm gonna share two happy mails here in the middle of my, my day. This is part of my day. Um, I have some other stuff. Um, if you send me happy mail, I still have it. I'm gonna go through it. I've got cards. You guys spoil me rotten and I wanna share it with you guys. So I thought I would share like a couple not every day, but every few days throughout this. And also, just as an update, um, I think today's probably going to be a little bit later um, posting because um, we are getting a slow go on these bushes, and my husband does not do anything um, halfway. So I did not realize the magnitude of the project of just doing the bushes. It's probably going to take us most of the day to do these bushes. So I probably will post this video later tonight. And I think tomorrow for Sunday, um, I do have some things to film. Uh, my giveaway, my advent number two giveaway will post on Sunday. And I'll pick a winner on the 10th, which is a Saturday. Uh, but I probably will not do a Vlogmas video on Sunday. And I'll just do the day four for Vlogmas stuff with day five on Monday. I hope that's okay. That'll give me a little bit of a, a break. I'm um, not having much knitting time doing all this video stuff, which is fine, but um, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I stayed up a, about 2 o'clock this morning uh, trying to get a few things done and uh, did not sleep well when I went to bed because it was storming. So um, I'm pretty tired today, and I'm nervous I'm not feeling great. I'm nervous I'm going to get sick again. So I'm, I'm going to take it uh, probably a little bit easier tomorrow. I've got church. And uh, I, again, I have a few things to wrap up. And I need to catch up on comments and emails. If you sent me something, I apologize. I just haven't had time to even sit down 
and look at a lot of this stuff. So when I'm sitting at the computer, I'm compiling and making video and editing and all that stuff. So please forgive me. Um, I do not multitask. Um, and my computer only does the, when I'm doing the editing, it only does the editing because it's such a, uh, it hogs all the memory. It's so intense graphic program. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. All right, let's get into the Happy Mail. The, I got a Happy Mail yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and share this. Um, actually, I'm going to share this other one. I got this Happy Mail probably like at the right at, at the beginning of October, right after I got sick. And this is, it says a gift for you. It says, hi, Gina. This is a giveaway winning from my channel which is Katrina Mindful Crafts and More. I'll link her channel down below. Please go check it out. She has beautiful crochet projects, and she's just a really sweet lady. Uh, she she had a giveaway, and HD Handmade Designs won this giveaway, and Handmade, she wanted to give it to me. It says, I'm happy and elated to send it your way for her. I know she is, um, right now, she's currently... Um, international so it, sometimes it's harder for her to get some of the prizes that she wins so she gives them away to channels so she sent this to me it says thanks so for your support and encouragement enjoy your gift from Katrina Carter thank you so much Katrina I appreciate this I apologize for it taking me forever to, to say thank you I do appreciate it and thank you HD for thinking of me and giving me this gift now this is how it came it was in an uh, Amazon box beautifully wrapped Let's open this up and I did not look at the little note I promise I tried to just give it to my husband and say I don't want to know what this is I want to be surprised so let's see what is in here and it's been sitting over here for a while all right let's see what we got here wow oh in this cute look what I got I got a do-it-yourself fox amigurumi knit and crochet starter kit isn't that adorable oh I love this Included are orange yarn, white yarn, black yarn, stuffing, darning needle, uh, and then it tells you how to do it for, for knitting or for crochet. Aw, and he cute. Thank you so much. This is adorable. I have never seen these before. Thank you so much. I love this. I love it so much. And thank you, Katrina, and thank you, HD. That's so nice. I love that. I love those little knits, and, and I want to do more amigurumi, so thank you. Um, so yesterday, I got another Happy Mail. This came like this, and I got a, I got a whole bunch of Amazon. Usually, I get I got my monthly stuff coming in, so I thought this was some of my monthly stuff, but then I opened it up, and there was a gift card in here, and it says, enjoy your gift. Thank you for the wonderful giveaway. You're so kind and generous from Claudia May. So this is from Claudia. She sent me a, a present here and I'm trying not to look at the, the thing on that. Let's see what this is. Um, Guilt-free chocolate. Jojo's. Ooh. I know she sent me some treats before. Um, she knows I have... Um, I have celiac disease and I also have um, the same issues like um, I have been diagnosed with celiac like back in 2005, biopsied, um, all that stuff. So she knows that and she knows I have the same reaction with soy. And so let's see what she sent me here. This is JoJo's Goes Hawaiian uh, Keto Gluten-Free Soy-Free Guilt-Free Chocolate. Yum! That sounds awesome. Thank you so much, Claudia. I love this. I can't wait to try this. Ooh, it looks like it's got some good stuff on there, too. I'm not sure what all is on there, but it sounds awesome. Goes Hawaiian dark chocolate, coconut, sea salt, and macadamia nuts. That sounds amazing. Thank you so much for thinking of me. That is so sweet. Can't wait to d dive into this, so thank you. Oh, my God. This is good. All right, my husband's not getting any. This is all for me. Oh my gosh, I don't have to have. I'm gonna have to buy some more of this. This is good. It's like a Mounds Bar dark chocolate. Thank you. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be big as a house. Thank you so much. I love it. Here's my clue one. 
for the MCAL calendar stole. Um, I went ahead and pinned it out. It's just easier to see if I do it like this. Pinned it on my ottoman. You can see I started with the Paco cast on. Um, and then there's uh, this beautiful lace pattern in here. Um, there uh, some The stitches in here were not that complicated. There was um, knit two together, slip slip knit, purl two together, um, slip slip purl. That's probably the most complicated stitch. And then of course you have um, the bead, pico beaded cast on, or you could do the pico cast on without beads. I don't know if you can see that because of my pins, but I alternated the beads and the shades of gray. And then of course, after you do your, your um, pattern, you do the um, what's called the interlude section. This section is going to be the same for every one of the clues. It's just like a, li a little garter stitch section, and then you can see you have um, some uh, yarn overs around your beaded stitch, and then I alternated the the beads, the color of the beads, in that as well. Um, and that's what clue one looks like. Uh, and we got clue two coming out today. This was called orchids very pretty and um, looking forward to knitting clue too. I'm enjoying this. I love doing this project every year. Uh, these, this one is called the best of the calendar stoles. So she's done this the last um, five years and I think she's taken the best of her designs from the last five years because there would be 60 patterns that she's created and she's put it into this stole for this year. Um, I know I have never knitted this this one uh, so this one must have been before I started knitting this, and it's really beautiful, and I, I'm excited about what's coming today. But thank you for letting me share that. I just had to insert this quickly. There is a another free pattern I just found on Ravelry. It's a creative advent throw. It's a knit pattern for a blanket by Cozy Up Knits. It's adorable. It can be made in different weights of yarn, but it is perfect for the 20 gram mini skeins or scraps of yarn. Uh, I will put a link to it down in the description box below. Um, they're going to show color pictures after um, in a little bit, but right now they're showing it in black and white and uh, it just looks really, really cute. It looks a little bit like the Radvent Throw by Ambo O'Brien um, and some of the other Advent uh, blankets, but it's a free pattern. Don't pass up a free pattern. Just wanted to mention it and insert that in. Uh, since I just saw it and hope you guys will go take advantage of it. Event three on the advent wreath says there shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Isaiah 11 1. Today, for the third day of Advent, uh, for the name of Jesus, we're going to talk about Jesus uh, saying he is the resurrection and the life. We're going to be reading out of John 11, uh, 22 through 25. This is the story of Mary and Martha when their brother Lazarus died. Um, it, it says, um, let's start with 21. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she told him, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who was to come into the world. So Jesus says he is the resurrection and the life. Okay, many people's greatest fear is death. Uh, for those who do not believe in God, the thought of dying can be overwhelming. Since they don't know what's going to wait them after they, they pass away. Martha and Mary uh, faced the reality of death when their brother Lazarus died of a severe illness. Um, he was most likely their sole pr protector since neither husbands nor parents are mentioned in their stories. 
Uh, Martha demonstrated her faith in Jesus when she asked him to resurrect her brother because God will give you whatever you ask. She says that in John 11:22, And it says, although Martha properly acknowledged Jesus' relationship with his father, she failed to understand that Jesus himself, Jesus himself is the resurrection and the life. The power of life and death are in Jesus. He spoke the world into existence and breathed life into Adam. He carefully fashions every child into their mother's womb and several times in the New Testament. He filled dead bodies with life again, nullified death's hold on his creation when he willingly laid down his own life. He didn't just stop or end death. He overcame it by entering into it and annihilating it from within rising from the dead without requiring anyone's intervention. As scripture says, death has been swallowed up in victory in 1 Corinthians 15, 54. Because Jesus rose to life, we who have believed in him have also been raised to new life with him. Although we groan with the way that creation is under the weight of current decay that death causes in the world, we do not mourn like we have no hope. Even in the face of death, we can embrace the hope of a physical resurrection, ours and that of all who belong to Jesus. But resurrection is not just a future event. Jesus' words in this passage remind us that resurrection is also a current reality. Those who believe in Jesus will ultimately never die. We may experience temporary physical death, but our souls and spirits will continue to live until receive until we receive glorified bodies. We are a resurrected people, and when Jesus returns, we will fully enter his resurrection, body, soul, and spirit. On that day, we will join the chorus of believers who will cheer our resurrected Lord and taunt our former enemy. Where, O death? Is your victory where O oh, death is your sting as it says in 1st Corinthians 15 55 Jesus's historical resurrection gives us hope both for today and for the future death is defeated in Jesus as he transitions us from temporary life to eternal life we live the lives of the resurrected Thank you so much for spending day three with me. I hope you've enjoyed this. I enjoyed spending some time with you. Again, I'm probably going to take day four and merge it with day five. But tomorrow um, we have church and um, probably finishing up decorations. And I'll just show all the Advent stuff with day five. And um, I do have a video posting tomorrow, but it will be the Advent giveaway. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will see you guys on Monday. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.